But as Sam Ringold reports, crews are already setting up for the concerts. With autograph books and cameras in hand, David Bowie fans were at the vet today hoping to get a glimpse of the rock star. And when he finally arrived... Back up. my favorite artist and uh, I was just really excited about it. I thought it would be a good chance that maybe I could see him out here. Putting up the stage itself for the concert is a major production. It takes up to four days to construct. We've made major modifications to the scaffolding stage in order to accommodate our set, which is the largest set that's tour to this, to this date. Thank you very much. Bowie is coming off a 30-city tour in Europe and decided to make Philadelphia his first city on the U.S. tour. My, I guess my whole career kicked off in, in Philadelphia back at the Tower Theater um, in the early 70s, and it's been a recurring liaison that we've had. This is an experiment for me in itself. I've never done a stadium tour before. I thought, well, let's play safe and <laughs> start with people who know my work, and, and I guess we kind of like each other and, and start off in Philadelphia. Bowie recently finished this commercial with Tina Turner. There have been rumors that this will be his last tour and that he's getting married. As for being my last tour, no. Uh, the other thing, am I getting married at the end of the tour? Who am I getting married to? Bowie said this is the first time he's done a show like this in a long time, adding it will give people a chance to see some of the things that he used to do. The European tour went extremely well, and if ticket sales are any indication, it looks like the American tour will be just as successful. At Veterans Stadium, Sam Ringgold, the 10 o'clock news. And English rocker David Bowie cooks up a storm in South Philly tonight, hosting a barbecue at the vet. Nightcast is next. Well, fans, it all comes down to this moment. Today in South Philadelphia, Bowie Burgers, a hot item at Vet Stadium this afternoon. He hosted hundreds of reporters at a unique news conference. The British megastar kicks off the North American segment of his latest tour right here. Bowie plays Thursday and Friday at the Vet. This is his first tour since 1984, and he says he's, it's appropriate that he opens right here in Philadelphia because he got his start right here in local clubs in the early 1970s. Today's barbecue or Bowie Q, whatever, his work. David Bowie's new concert tour kicks off this Thursday in Philadelphia. It's a bit of a gamble, though. The sets are expensive with extravagant and very ambitious theatrics. But yesterday when I talked with David Bowie at the barbecue he threw for his crew at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, he told me that the big risks were exactly what make this tour worthwhile. When I started, well, I started as a painter first, and I could never do what I wanted to do in painting, so I moved into rock to be able to do what I wanted to do, which is kind of expand. I've made enough money. I don't, it's, I never wanted to do, I never had to do anything for money, because what I wanted to do was push the boundaries of what I was doing. And this thing, for me, is one of the most exciting things in rock that I've ever seen. I mean, it's the kind, I try and devise shows that I want to go and see. Whether I have audiences for them, whether they make money, have always been besides the point. That's why I've never followed a formula. Is it true you're not going to make any money from this? Um, it's very likely. I mean, I'd be quite happy if I break even. But you have a sponsor now. Recently done a commercial with Tina Turner for them. The sponsorship meant about that much in terms of how much this cost. But it helped. new video out about the homeless in Los Angeles. Well, that's now my, uh, yeah, old video. <laughs> However, that, yeah, what about that one? Well, why did you do it about the homeless in Los Angeles? Because uh, I don't, I didn't really want to, I don't like making pretty videos particularly. Um, I've not got a reputation for making pretty videos or song sellers. Um, I've always tried, again, to experiment with what one can do in, in video and in the visual arts. And for me, each video is a challenge, so I, I approach it from a different perspective every time I make one. So you're going to now appear in a new film with Mick Jagger? Yeah, we, uh, I just finished the script uh, yesterday, and I, it's very exciting, very exciting piece of work. What's it about? Um, well, it's something <laughs> Nick and I wrote earlier this year, and we had a favorite uh, screenwriter of ours write it up, a guy called uh, Richard Price, who wrote Color of Money. And um, he's been working in conjunction with us in collaboration, and we've got the first draft all together now. 
and uh, it's, it's a pretty good piece of work. And we're going to production next uh, autumn. Of all of the song titles, which is the one that's most appropriate for today's David Bowie, Golden Years? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I would guess Sons of the Silent Age. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I have a son now, and it's a kind of um, an age with no voice at the moment. How old is Joey? 16. And you live with him in Switzerland? Yeah. Is that primary importance in David Bowie's life, father, right? Oh, now? heavens, it has been. I've had custody of him for the last 10 years. Uh, so for 10 years, we've been growing with each other, I guess. Yeah, sure, it's a fundamental of every father's life, isn't it? Are you ready for this tour? Certainly is for mine. Are you ready, ready for this, all this tour? A hundred dates of yeah. it or something? Yeah, oh, yeah, good job. No problem. Yesterday, as Bowie and his road crew had a big barbecue at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, and MTV News, of course, was there. Being with David Bowie's current grand style, his press conference on Monday was that and more, as the crew began to build the mammoth stage that will hold his spider, dancers and band, press from all over the East Coast, gathered to sample some Philly barbecue and grill Bowie himself with questions about the tour, asking why he chose to start it in Philadelphia. I got my biggest start and uh, my, I guess my whole career kicked off in, in Philadelphia back at the Tower Theatre um, in the early 70s. I'd never done a stadium tour before. I thought, well, let's play safe and <laughs> start with people who know my work and, and I guess we kind of like each other and, and start off in Philadelphia. Bowie, whose style is always changing, seems to have taken a step back to a more traditional rock music base and a very theatrical show, something he was known for 15 years ago. I had such a success with the uh, 83 tour and expanding my audience that um, it, it seemed almost natural to maybe show people what I used to do um, a long time ago and the kind of thing that really started me off. And, so I'd be very tempted to go back into a very theatrical kind of production. And on this day, too, David Bowie was theatrical, posing with his barbecue cooks and shouting words of encouragement to his crew, while the entire time the press followed his every move. But this certainly is nothing compared to what he will be doing on stages for the next few months all over North America. Boy kicks off his U.S. tour at Veterans Stadium on Thursday, so go to that. It's going to be a great show. Four in a row on the way, including Hart and the Outfield, and we'll start it off right now with... Already successful Glass Spider World Tour. Cheryl Washington was there and filed this report. David Bowie's latest single, Day In, Day Out, is the way this rock legend is going to spend the next several days and months on his most elaborate concert tour to date. I would imagine I wouldn't be staging anything quite as elaborate as this ever again. Um, it's the most extraordinarily expensive tour that I've ever done. The logistics of it are horrendous. It will take dozens of workmen up to four days to complete construction of the stage that will include a giant spider named for Bowie's Glass Spider Tour. Where did your fascination with creatures begin? With the spiders, rather. <laughs> <laughs> creatures and spiders. No, creatures generally do kind of turn up a lot, but yeah, the spider motif, I, I've always, I've been, I'm pretty fond of them. They're nice little guys. I don't, <laughs> I don't see them as being uh, repulsive or scary or anything. I find them kind of family-like. I don't know what that right says now. about me. But. American fans have been waiting four years for Bowie to perform in the United States. First stop, Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. The decision to kick off the American leg of David Bowie's concert tour holds special significance. I first started in 72 in America at the uh, Tower Theater in Philadelphia. And uh, subsequently, whenever I had to try something new out, I always came to Philadelphia to start it off. Philadelphia was also the site of another first, a barbecue hosted by the British rock superstar. Another unconventional move for Bowie was lending his presence and music to this Pepsi commercial he made with Tina Turner. But it's not the Pepsi challenge that Bowie looks forward to. It's the challenge of a brand new American tour. Bowie. How did the G-Men capture the radio pirates? Is Terry Garr ready to take the plunk? His crew. As his crew worked up high on the scaffold, David Bowie dropped in at Philadelphia's Veteran Stadium, where the North American phase of his Glass Spider tour will kick off. This is how you car it, okay? The reason for the afternoon appearance was simple. In true American fashion, the British rock legend 
through a little barbecue to celebrate the show's opening. He's aware of how hard we work or how long we work, and he, you always get a smile or a hello or whatever, and it's nice. Hi, guys. David, <laughs> following the burgers with Bowie, the press had an opportunity to listen to the master showman talk about the tour, his show, and the high price of rock and roll. I may break even on it. This is not... If I wanted to make money, I'd go out and do a hit singles tour, but I'm not prepared to do that. The only reason I ever tour is because I want to break new ground. Are we ready for the rest of the tour? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right, one fish for them. Yeah! Well, they'd better be ready for Thursday night. The elaborate production takes four days to set up, one to tear down, and will be in 15 North American cities in the next seven weeks. Dayton, Ohio, home of the Wright Brothers, was... ...media at a press conference. It has elements of... mixed media, I guess. There's elements of film footage, uh, choreography. <laughs> Welcome to the David Bowie special here on Philly 57. I'm Rick Wagner from Eagle 106. Tonight, we've got a great show lined up for you. We're going to uh, tell you about some stuff you may not know about, about David Bowie. We're going to look at a lot of his videos. We have some concert tickets to give away and an exclusive satellite hookup, an interview with David Bowie tonight, right here on Philly 57. It's going to be great. I'll tell you how you can win the tickets a little bit later on. We're going to look at a lot of his videos. Uh, all the way back from Ziggy Star uh, Pop Stardust. Yeah. Stardust. Yeah. yeah, you've seen his comic strip, Ziggy Stardust. Uh, we'll do that and a lot more. Right now, let's take a, take a look at the first video. It's day in, day out. Here's David Bowie. It's like a multimedia event, and this, the set itself is, is fairly spectacular. Welcome back to the David Bowie special here on Philly 57. I'm Rick Walker. And I'm Sam Yudkin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From Eagle 106, WEGX Now. We want you to take a look at some of the pictures of David Bowie. His look has changed uh, dramatically over the years. We're talking makeup, hair goes up, hair goes down, shoulders up. Yeah, take I it. mean, in the 70s, this dude was wearing dresses, okay? <laughs> Which went perfect. His makeup was a little off. Maybe you should have consulted with, uh, what's her name? Tammy Baker, yeah. yeah. Okay, now look at this one. Look at some of these pictures here. Look at this. Who is this man? That's a nice look there. I like that. I, I just like, uh, you see some of this on South Street from time to time. <laughs> There, all right. Yeah. That's... There's David, David Bowie there. Uh huh. David, that's David Bullwinkle, Bowie Winkle. Yeah. Well, they see the moose, moose in the hair. <laughs> David Bowie Winkle Bowie. <laughs> and uh, is this the slick back? This is the David Bowie Bowser. There's another. They're, they're all just. It, look at these pictures. Amazing. This, this man's mother wouldn't recognize him week to week. I think that's the important point to make. It that out. was who David Bowie's. Or... Bowie Bowser Bowie Winkle. Okay. Uh, now. Now, now, you've seen those. Now, I don't know if you've heard this or not. I don't know if you know this or not, but... Don't, this, you're not, you're not telling me. Right? Yeah, this is true. Uh, all right. I, I hate to brag or Cats anything. Cat's out of the bag, kids. Rick and Sam, we know David Bowie. We're close personal friends. Oh, yeah. Way back. And to prove it, we've got... Uh, so we went through our scrapbooks, got some pictures. He's not the only big star no. we know, of course. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> but we went through our scrapbook, and we took some pictures out, and we'd like to share them with you, our two viewers tonight. Okay. <laughs> so, now, here we are. Look, this is, uh, I think, 1978 in Albuquerque. It's Rick hard and to, I. Yeah. There we are. Look. Backstage. Okay. It's, hard, it's hard to remember what this one is. I think that was... That, wasn't that backstage at Live Aid? Could have been. been. I could've think been. that's the one there. And my hair's a little shorter back then. You could... I, I think, uh, I don't know, one of these is like the Pepsi commercial. Uh -huh. now, people, you and, didn't know. I'm not like, are we good friends? We were backup singers. For, you can tell in a couple of the shots. Rick and I were actually on the stage. Yeah. And if you listen to like the song China Girl, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. That, that, that's, that's us. us. That's, that's us. us. And Dave said, you know, guys, you're such close <laughs> personal friends. You want to be part of the act? And we said, sure, why not? Yeah, and there so we are. There's the proof. How do you think we got the, uh, the, the big, the, and the hookup, the satellite hookup? How do you think we got well, that? Well, that's a little later on. That's Coming up later on? Dave. We got hooked up because we know him. We picked up the phone. We called him and said, Dave, babe, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. He's fabulous. He's fabulous. Yeah. And, you know, one, if I played guitar, if I played drums, I would be closer to him, but we're just backup singers. Yeah. Dave and I and Rick, like, like, like this. What? Dave, Rick and Sam. Yeah. Dave, like this. Good friends. Yeah. Hey, can I, you want guys to have lunch? Sure, Dave. How about next week? No problem. Can I be in your special? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, see ya. You believe us, don't you? <laughs> okay, all right, uh, watch this video now, and uh, we'll talk to Dave, live interview, still to come in this show. This is uh, China Girl. Oh, get a, uh, was it, did he get a dog or a burger? A burger. Oh, a right, burger? Give me one of these. Burger, burger. What, why, why did he... Well done, well done. Why did he get a burger instead of a dog? Oh, he likes beef, honey. Please say that, he, he likes beef. He likes to burn around the edge. He likes to burn around the edge. Have you ever seen his teeth? Yes. How big are they? 
big. Oh, yeah. he is handsome. He's really super handsome. What's your favorite Don't Bowie song? That. Don't agree with them. Well, what are your favorite, what are your favorite, what are your favorite Bowie songs is what? I love them all, really. What would you be favorite Bowie songs? All of them. Love them. Love them. Love them. Yeah, you don't even know who David Bowie is, do you? Sure, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. China girl. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to get a Bowie bird. What does Dave have? What, what did he have? Let's fix it up. Little onions. Onions. Little onions. Onions. Little ketchup. Little ketchup. Little, ketchup. Little, ketchup. Little, ketchup. Little relish. Little relish. Little relish. Little relish. Little tomato. Tomato. It's a wonder anybody comes close to this guy with all this smelly food. Okay. Tomatoes. We'll go. A couple chips. And they get. What he does, he puts them in between his teeth and acts like a rudder, like a. Uh, that's it. it it's, that's the Bowie Burger. We're gonna we're gonna watch a video now and and enjoy the sumptuous delight from Vet Stadium. Take a look at this video. Let me try some of that. Let's, he's gonna be over to talk to us in just a second. We're not worried about it. See how everybody else has to wait here. No, Dave says Rick, Sam, I'll be right over. Hang yeah. on. We'll find out what he's gonna do while he, what, what he's been doing while he's here in Philadelphia. Small market stations clogging the way. Man, our limos outside. I'm I'm schwitz. And look at this sweat. Come on. Look, look at all these people. He, he'll be over to talk to us in just a minute. Hey, Dave. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Sam? Rick? Sam. How you doing? All right. How you doing? Yeah, Dave, you're a real fashion kind of guy. What's with these shoes? <laughs> Can we bring the camera down here? <laughs> what are they? Do you, you feel short? What's the, what's the deal, Dave? Um, do you know, I have absolutely no idea. A girlfriend of mine bought me these, and really? I've worn them ever since. My son saw them, and so, you, so he got a pair, her. too. You gotta love her. Uh, I found these under the Christmas tree. I'd say, hon, forget it. Yeah? You should, I'd ask for the receipt, okay? I thought these were kind of, uh, uh... original. That, that, no, they smack of the uh, 50s, don't they? Look this, the size. This... Kids, can you zoom in? Look yeah. the size of this. <laughs> this is for David. Let me ask you something. You're, you're in town for uh, four, five, six days. What are you going to be doing while you're here? We want to know, like, what, what, what you do behind the scenes. Uh, you know that I'm going to be just catching up, because we've had a week and a half break now, so we have to catch up on some of the choreography we've done, make sure, because it's a bit like... A sport event in those terms, you can't get out of uh, practice with it, so we have to really keep working hard.